For this question, the equation of the curve is y equivalence to x squared plus ax plus b. There are two unknowns in the question. So our first task will be looking for the unknown. The x coordinates of a okay, is equivalence to 1. And then it crosses the y-axis at 0, 3. So hence this point is 0, 3. The x-coordinate of C is equivalent to 4. So by using okay, this coordinate, we will be able to get some value. Let's see. Okay. By substituting when okay, it is 0 and 3, substitution of 0 and 3 in the equation, you will be able to get 0 square plus b 0 plus b is equivalent to 3. Hence, b is equivalent to 3. Getting this, you will get your very first mark. Okay? Second, okay, there's the next value given where x is equivalent to 1 for coordinate of a. So, when a is 1 and 0, substituting of um, this coordinate in the equation, you will get 1 plus with a times 1 plus with b value is equivalent to 0. Hence, from here, you will be able to get a is equivalent to negative 4. Okay? So, you already got a and b okay, from your calculation. So, the next step is to put all the a and b in the equation. So, your equation will be y equivalent to x squared minus 4x plus 3. That's the equation of the curve. One mark for this. Alright? To proceed, we need to find the coordinate of b. Okay? Because we need to get the limits for integration. So, a, we already got it. Okay? Now, moving on to b. So for b, it is lying on the x-axis, means y is equivalent to 0. Okay, so we proceed to let y equals to 0. Okay, so x squared minus 4x plus 3, when y is equivalent to 0, you are going to get a quadratic equation like this. Hence, factorize the equation. So minus 3 minus 1 equivalent to 0 x will be equivalent to 1 and x will be equivalent to 3. Okay? So this is your coordinate of A. Okay? Where x is equal to 1. Hence, this will be your coordinate of B which will give you 3 and 0. Okay? Getting the quadratic equation factorized, you'll get one mark. And then getting the coordinate of B, you'll get another one mark. We will proceed to find the area of the shaded region. First, we will find the area of the shaded region, area number 1, label it area number 2, okay? We will look for area number 1 first, okay? Why are we doing separately? Because area number 1, which is under the x-axis, okay, it will give you negative values, alright? So we have to find out the integral first, then only we modulus the answer to get a positive area. So let's move on to find the area number 1. So, area number 1 will be equivalent to integration from 1 to 3, from A to B, okay? x squared minus 4x plus 3 dx, okay? Continue, x to the power of 3 over 3 minus 4x squared over 2 plus with 3x, putting it the limits correctly, okay? Getting the correct integral you will get another one mark. Continue with substitution of your limits. So here you are getting 3 square over uh, 3 cube over 3 minus 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Here 2 because you have simplified it. Alright, plus with 3 times 3, close bracket, minus substitution of 1 in the equation, you will get 1 over 3 minus 2 plus 3. 
okay put every values in the calculator you will get this part as 0 or minus 4 over 3 hence your answer will be negative 4 over 3 as mentioned area has to be in positive hence we add modulus to the answer and you are getting 4 over 3 as for area number 1 okay moving on to area number 2 okay which is from B to C the same equation that we are going to use okay it's just different limits okay so to find the area number 2 okay area number 2 okay it will be equivalent to integration of from 3 to 4 the same equation for x plus 3 dx which in turn is giving you the same integral over 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x then for 3 okay putting in all the values for cube over 3 minus 2 for square plus 3 times 4 close bracket minus substitution of 3 over 3 minus 2 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 3 okay with this here you will be getting 4 over 3 minus here 0 hence your area for area number 2 will be 4 over 3 as well okay finally you need to actually get the total of the shaded region to get the total shaded region total area of the shaded region what you're supposed to do is you take area number one plus with area number two so your area number one is four over three area number two also is four over three hence the final answer is eight over three okay Putting the two areas together, you will get one mark, okay? And then, uh, final answer will give you one mark, okay? Getting this area will be one mark, here, one, and then getting the correct integral, one mark.